I'm a little surprised the newly ordained Houston Hero for Life coach Tom Herman took time from his busy recruiting schedule to put out an email to all of us on the U of H mailing list. It came after it was made public that quarterback Kyle Allen was taking his football talent from a and to Cullen Boulevard. Tom made a call for accuracy in reporting, as he put it. Some reporter or website or innocent bystander said back in early December that Herman and Allen met to discuss such a move. Well, according to Herman, that really didn't happen. And several Houston sports types did tell us it didn't happen. The bottom line? Well, it must have happened, not just when the scribe or mouth who offended Herman said it did. So they weren't wrong, they were just early. Hug your reporters who didn't care to begin with. And as if the Aggies didn't have enough to deal with, the AD called it quits too. Two quarterbacks and now the guy in charge? Wow, the Dixie Chicken must have raised prices. Eric Hyman, we hardly knew you. Put R.C. Slocum in charge. Okay, you fired him once, but you love him. You trot him out at every fundraiser. Give him the big office. Okay, I know much now has been made of the 1993 Kansas City upset of the Oilers in the playoffs. I, of course, was working that game and saw the handwriting on the scoreboard. He gads that was awful. Upset after being the hottest team in the NFL that year. Houston had won 11 in a row when they gave up three fourth-quarter touchdowns to Joe Montana. Now the present-day matchup has Kansas City with a 10-game win streak. I know Joe isn't playing, but neither is Warren, and the game damn sure won't be in the Dome, so stop with the comparisons. I got to think there will be a bunch of stories pitting Houston barbecue against those rib cookers in Kansas City. Well, we've got the lead in the chow department, and I'm feeling pretty good about the football, too. This is Craig Robertson. You've been listening to The Daily Craig.